Hi everybody, welcome back to another one of my episodes of the Is It Worth It series. Today I have an interesting one to go over as far as uh, spending uh, time, money, gems, etc. on various uh, special offers. So the special offer in question that I have today, I just had it come up this morning, is the Superior Rune Pack. So the reason that I brought this one up instead of uh, um, any of the other offers, usually the special offers that we see are for real world money. So in this case here, because this is using your gems, the question now becomes, is it worth it to spend my gems on this particular offer? Is it going to benefit you uh, more in the long run? So in order to determine if this is actually worth it, we do need to consider a couple of things. We need to consider where your worth lies. Is it in your time? Is it in your money? Is it uh, just in your gems? I mean, you have to consider a, a couple of different avenues to pursue here. So before we actually get into this, let's just assume that the gold is negligible for now. It's like, yeah, there's 10 million gold there, but uh, even if you do create a couple of superior runes, that 10 million gold is gonna be gone in no time. So let's just pretend for a moment that the gold itself is not there, not a part of this. So really we're paying 5,000 gems for 20 binders and 200 shards. So the binders, as you probably guessed, one, um, four of each color. So this alone is uh, something to consider because not all of the shards are easy to get. So for example, the fire shards um, are very difficult to come by. So for some people spending the gems just to get those fire shards and those fire binders, the, the shards rather aren't uh, color specific, but the binders are color specific. The shards are basically 50 of each type. So this will help you create basically any of the runes that you want. So essentially what this package is doing is it's allowing us to create four superior runes of every single color. So we have to determine is 5,000 gems a fair price for that. So now we have to look at a couple of different avenues to see how you're going to place your worth on your gems here. So when you are max level like myself, you can earn roughly 330 gems per day. That's doing your tower and your basic quests uh, daily. So what that amounts to in terms of gem acquisition, that's basically about two weeks of playtime for me, of playing every day. So am I willing to sacrifice two weeks of gems for these superior um, rune materials? In general, I would say that's probably a pretty big trade-off, um, especially now with the guild rewards no longer offering free summons. Being that we don't get free summons anymore, all of the gems that we acquire are now going to be stockpiling towards the times 10 summons if you still need those. So that can be a little bit risky for some people because now you have to uh, consciously preserve more of your gems than maybe what you did in the past. So I know for the longest time, I would just hoard the bonus summons that I got from guild rewards and never actually have to use gems to actually summon heroes, which uh, like I said, has, has now changed. So let's look at this from a strictly a, a cost standpoint. If we pull up any of the boss island dungeons here to get those superior shards and binders. So right now Arcane Circle is up and it costs 20 stamina to run. So right off the bat we're looking at uh, a, a very easy uh, calculation to cost how much it's going to, to cost us to get that. So let's just say hypothetically that we can run any of the individual colors and we can guarantee that we're going to beat the dungeon. So 20 stamina, in order to get the 20 um, binders, we would have to get uh, 20 successful runs. We're going to uh, negate the, uh, the breaking down the runes just for now because uh, I'm not going to get into that just yet. So we need 20 different runes to break down to get the 20 binders. So if we did 20 runs of the Boss Island Legendary Dungeons, that's essentially um, at 20 stamina per, we're looking at 400 total stamina to run those 20. So in assuming that you don't have enough stamina, I obviously have plenty of stamina to run dungeons uh, all day if I want to, but let's just say for example, you don't have that and you're starting from scratch. The stamina cost alone 
is 20 gems for 25 stamina. So what does that actually mean for our runs then? So in order to spend 400 stamina on those 20 runs, we're looking at 320 gems spent. Now that's um, pales in comparison to the 5,000 gems that we're actually um, purchasing this for. But remember, that's not uh, the whole story here as well. First of all, anybody who's run those uh, legendary dungeons on Boss Island will know that it's not a guaranteed superior rune every single time. You will get materials, you'll get uh, just uh, junk loot, and uh, ultimately it's not going to be as successful as what this is just the same. So let's just say you get 50% effectiveness, and so now instead of doing 20 runs, we have to do 40 runs to get the same 20 runes. So now we basically doubled that, and it's going to be 640 gems instead. So still, in terms of gem cost, it's quite a bit less, but we also have to realize that... Uh, when we purchase this here, whatever we're going to get for breaking down, and so let's just uh, go out to my runes here, for example. When we break down these runes, we don't get every single one of the materials. So I'll break down just any of the other ones, this bulwark, for example. When we salvage this, I got a binder. Notice I didn't get a binder and shards. So what that means is even if we ran 20 of these, and got 20 runes, we don't know that we're going to get 20 binders or 20 shards or 30 shards or whatever it is. So in general, you will have to run the dungeon much more than the 20, 40, or maybe even 100 times to get that kind of uh, um, success rate. And on top of that, we're also looking at the time involved for um, running those dungeons. For me, running one of those uh, legendary dungeons probably takes about 10 minutes to actually run because uh, I don't really have the capability of auto running them just yet. So you have to be a little bit cautious about running them. So if it takes 10 minutes and we want to do, um, you know, 20 runs or 40 runs, we're looking at uh, six to eight hours of just running these dungeons for what we just determined was possibly not even that many shards or binders. So, in my opinion, is it worth to actually spend your gems on this? I would say, in general, I would say it is. Because if you look at my stockpile right now, I've been running superior dungeons for a while. I've, I've crafted a few superior uh, runes um, here and there. But if we look at my rune crafting, and I want to craft a superior... Notice I only have one Firebinder, and I only have uh, seven of those shards. So having run these and, and being able to acquire these since runes first came out, um, I still don't have that big of a stockpile. So to instantly get uh, 50 more of these uh, particular shards is going to be a huge boost. To get uh, five more of those binders, especially with the fire ones, is going to be a huge boost. So for me, sacrificing two weeks of gems for the ability to craft better runes is going to be uh, um, definitely worth it. Because ultimately now, with the way PvP is, you're going to need superior runes in order to, to compete there. So because of the, um, the new, basically the, the Aegis champion rune, um, where there's reduced PvP damage, so now you're going to be running into an instance where your Kira and your Koros are no longer able to kill people like Emily, and so then you're going to need more and more superior runes to buff up your attack power. So as far as uh, is it worth it, I'm going to go ahead and stamp my seal of approval on this one. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, uh, let me know if you have any other questions, and I will gladly uh, respond. Thanks.